Hey lovies, welcome to my corner of the galaxy here in the Celestial Council. Today we are here again with another video of I Put a Spell on You, The Sims 4 Hocus Pocus Challenge. And today we are following Sarah Sanderson around. She is the youngest Sanderson sister. And Sarah's aspiration is a bit different from her sister. She has the serial romantic um aspiration she wants to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and she wants to go on two dates um what i am going to do for sarah is i'm actually going to have her um go on a couple of dates today so i'm gonna send her to glimmerbrook village which is a lot that i downloaded from the gallery and sarah's gonna be a little a little messy because i'm gonna have her actually hello Ask Billy to go with her. So Billy and Sarah are actually um, lovers, although Billy is, um, I guess you can say, with her sister in the sense. So I'm going to have her call him up. Yes, it is 8, 12 a.m., but she's going to go ahead and, um, hello, I want to ask him on a date. Okay, let's use the phone then. We're going to ask him on a date. Um, Hello. And see what happens. Oh, yes. And Sarah has the erratic trait. So she's talking to herself right now, y'all. Girl. Girl. Oh, she is angry. Did he say yes or no? Hello? Okay, we're just gonna go and then we're gonna call him over there because he... Girl, just go. So, Billy and... Pause, sir. I asked you here to be with me. So, Billy and Sarah are here together. First kiss. Sh angry. Girl, if you don't get yourself... Let's... Ask his opinion on... It. Wait a second. No. So I have a mod in my game that allows you to define like relationship preferences. And I need to see if they gave Sarah the um, trait. Prefers exclusive. No, she does not. So let me. How do I? I don't know how I fix that for her. change preference she refers non-exclusive like she does not care okay so i got that she don't want to be pregnant um so that should definitely work us out now so let me see have her ask his opinion about that girl let's go be romantic with him so that we can get into the mood to... Sarah, are you really... Are you... Really through the... I much prefer exclusive... Dag. But you stepped out on Winnie. Girl, you better go ahead and praise that non-exclusive lifestyle. Let's try and be real romantic with him. And see how he feels about that. Let's serenade him. Let's get him in the mood for us. Um, we really can't do much of anything. Let's see what happens if she gives a super romantic compliment. I know. Uh, Brittany. Mind your business. Nobody makes me happier than you. Girl. Get out of here. 
Ugh. She is so annoying. Let's ask him on a date and see what he says. We don't want to go anywhere. We want to stay here. Boom. Okay, we are now on a date. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Okay, so we need to sit somewhere and talk to her date. Let's go and find a place to sit. Okay, so we can sit here. So let's sit over here together. By this candlelight, let's sit together. Sarah, where are you? Who is singing? Oh, wait, we might need to meet this little girl at some point before we leave. Okay. So. Hopefully things work out the way that I'm hoping because we need to... Okay, so we're on one date. We also need to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So how scandalous would it be? Where in the... Billy, where are you at? How scandalous would it be if she becomes girlfriend a freaking Billy? I'll always have your back. Um... We just gonna be romantic. I, let's ask him to be our boyfriend and see what he say. Let's see what he says. Like, I know he prefers to be, like, what do you call it? Like, um, exclusive and things like that, but it's okay. He said, yes, boom bandage. We did it. He don't know that we're gonna be cheating on him, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and let's just do all of these things. Let's do all of these things. Sarah got the impression that Billy finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Girl. Let's kiss his hands. Boy, we don't want no... Let's lie to him and say he's our end game, but he's not. Let's make him feel like, let's tell him he has our heart, but he really don't. Sarah, you better, Mac. Girl, you better, Mac. Give him a little passionate kiss. Um, Y'all, yeah, I'm really just having her do all the flirty things that she can. Um, but let's do the things that are actually going to get us gold because we want to make sure she gets the little gold things. Um, let's, um, we can tell him a funny story. Where the, where the, is he going? Hello? All these non-magical people in our little magical place. That'd be so annoying. Okay, I need him to tell I need to tell him a story. Um wait no, let's get to know him. She has the option to woohoo. I know we're supposed to tell a story and do all those things, but sis. You better go and woohoo with your man. Eliza Pancakes. Ma'am, why are you here? Why are you here? Go back to freaking Willow Creek. He said, yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, he didn't say yeah, yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about, y'all. Is he sick? How does zombie sick, y'all? How is the zombie sick? Oh, so they can't even go to do that. That's fine. Okay, so let me do the things I'm supposed to do now. Let me go ahead and tell a story. Um, let's tell a story. Let's tell a funny story. Let's give him a massage. He keep trying to get away from us and I'm feeling a little upset about that. Why he always trying to leave me? Um, where is to give him a massage? Hello. 
I want to give my date a massage. Y'all, I don't see it. Isn't that an option? Well, let's just do romantic stuff. Oh, we can have deep conversations because I can't find that one. Um, friendly. Deep conversation. So one of the things that I'm thinking about, like with Sarah, is like while she understands that, you know, like her sister, although her sister is mean and things like that, and she freaking loves um, Billy and things like that. Sarah can't help herself. Like she is really into like different types of men and Billy's a whole freaking zombie right now. And Sarah don't even give two freaking craps, right? Like she does not care. Sarah just likes the thrill of the chase of men. Like once she has them, she's done with them. So like really after this date, like it doesn't even matter to her about Billy anymore. She's going to be scoping the surroundings for her next, um, date like she's just gonna do whatever it is that she needs to because like so we have goals y'all but i freaking can't well we got the goals so we're gonna go ahead and end this date yep check okay so the date is completed perfect we have one date i am actually also going to have sarah scope surroundings while we're here um to see if she can find someone else but i, I don't know what she's going to do Look at her. She is so freaking proud of herself. Look at sis be proud of herself. She better. You better be proud. You better be proud of yourself. And who is this? He is cute. John Daxon. John, you are cute, sir. Sarah. Give you a, do a flirty introduction with John because he is going to be one of our dates. Oh, and he like it too. Go ahead and compliment his looks. But Sarah, I really do need you to scope the surroundings as well because we need a lot of people as possible because um, you was going to go ahead and be a serial romantic. Absolutely. Um... I can't find, but another thing that you need to do, Sarah, is you need to learn mischief magic. So you can go ahead and practice that while we're here. Um, look at Billy back there. <laughs> Billy, what is you doing? So one thing about Sarah that I really enjoy or particularly enjoy about her in general is that Sarah, um, Oh, she has already learned a spell. You know what, Sarah? You go ahead. One thing I really like about Sarah is that while she is a witch and she's a... Oh, y'all, we going on another date. We about to call what's his name right now. Y'all, what? Let's... John. Let's invite him to hang out. Because I know you ain't working now. You free. What is this? Okay, so John is coming over to hang out with us. Bam. Right? Okay. So, hopefully John will show up soon. Where is he at? And we're gonna end up going on another date, y'all. We're gonna try and get these two dates today. We're gonna try and do it today. I don't know where he at, though. Where's John? If we ask him on a date, what he gonna say? If he say no, my bad, girl. Tried our best. Did he say, he said yes. So, um, Sarah and John are actually here together on a date. So we're actually going to be able to get our second date for the day. So let's go ahead and be flattering with him. And then let's go and order drinks for us together so that we can go ahead and sit at the bar. Um, Dag, we beat the bartender here. But let's just go ahead and sit here together. Um... I just, why is he sad? Oh no, John. Why are you sad? Hopefully you're okay with like open relationships because I mean, we're going to get this second date, y'all. So we're already going to get this. What is going to be the next pieces of this hair? 
achieve level four charisma, have had three first kisses. Y'all, we're going to get two first kisses because we have one with Billy. Going to have one with John. Um, I'm also going to have her introduce herself to this bartender. Um, hold on. Order drink just for group. Um, girl, you are going to do this because that looks romantic. Where is she going? And then also introduce yourself with a flirty introduction. Oh, yeah, it's just Do you already know her? I guess you already know her. Okay. So let's go ahead and give him a super romantic um, thing here because he's sad and we don't got time for him to be sad. We need him to not be sad because we trying to do something great with this date. joke about politicians where are they going oh they just gonna stand here and be weird get to uh, i know you fucking lying i know you fucking lying we just gonna try a whole bunch of different things and see what he girl do a sexy pose ask if he has any siblings we just gonna try and do everything that we can. I know we need to do jokes. Let's tell a joke about professors. Like, we are gonna get two gold freaking dates. You look really dumb wearing that. What in the, Sarah? John Daxon refuses to have sex with Sarah. She asked about sex? Girl! I ain't. I guess. I ain't even. I ain't even know what in the um Alphaba, you need to find somebody else. This is our date for the night. Have her tell a gross joke because this is Sarah Sanderson we're talking about. Oh, he's blushing. How cute. Oh, he's flirty. Let's flirt with him now. Flirt. Girl, why you keep moving? Oh, is she sick? Oh, well. We need to have some deep conversations. You can have the what are we talk, but you don't really care about that. Um, Friendly, let's go to deep conversations. Y'all, Sarah is really killing it with the um dating thing. Like, I think this is the best one that we've done. Sarah's. Um, Hello? Deep conversations. Where are you? Why do I not have the option? Sarah has learned the following. John is evil. What? What? John is evil. We're still going to do our first kiss with his little evil ass. Oh, he has siblings. I wonder who is I. Well, I am dating other people, but you're my favorite. What? John. Okay. Y'all, we is smashing Sarah's things. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but I am enjoying this with Sarah. This is possibly my favorite one. Like, she ain't really doing no magic, which is probably going to be a problem for me, but we'll figure this out. Girl, you need to do some deep conversations. I know you sick and you need to use the restroom, but we don't got no time for that. Why is it not an option? Hello? Okay, John, go ahead and dance. So, in my head with Sarah, like, she's not going to tell um, Winnie that she um, became the girlfriend of Billy because Winnie is already really upset with um, Sarah about what happened hundreds of years ago. So, for her and Billy to now technically be boyfriend and girlfriend will be something that Winnie probably just won't be able to handle. I don't know what the hell Sarah's doing, but I'm just going to let her go ahead and do it. What in the... I know you... Okay. 
Um, but one of the things that I definitely want to do with her being a serial romantic is get Sarah to be with a whole bunch of different people as much and as often as she can. So like as she meets different people, she'll go on these other dates and maybe she'll have multiple um, boyfriends and girlfriends, you know, like um, I just um, want to try and get her aspiration complete as soon as possible. But she also needs to make sure that she is learning um, practical magic so we will definitely work on that as well um but I think what I'm going to do as soon as we finish that as soon as we finish this date um which honestly like I'm really about to finish this date now because I don't really care right like she did what she did so we're gonna go ahead and end our day here it's a silver that's okay they won't let us do but we're gonna end it here and um so she has finished two dates she needs to get a level four charisma skill and she needs three first kisses like can i actually get her another let's actually have her meet some more people so do a flirty introduction ma'am i need you to do flirty introductions to all of these people because all of these people are going to possibly be our booze um sis do a flirty introduction right because we are working on seeing if we can get this um charisma skill up as well um but this really just works out in terms of like getting sarah the things that i need her to freaking get um, but it is 9.03 p.m. She has done a lot today and she purposefully went out without her sisters um, because she didn't want Winnie to know that she was out with Billy. But then she went out with John and I'm just having her flirty introduce herself to everybody because that's just what we do in. But I definitely do think that Sarah had a very successful day in like going with her aspiration and things like that. Um, we definitely do the next time that we're playing Sarah need to focus on some magic um, for her as well. But um, as always, I do thank you for joining me for a, another part of I Put a Spell on You Hocus Pocus Challenge. Um, if you would like to see any of your sims in my LPs as townies, you can upload them to the gallery with the hashtag TMS townies. And as always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. Clearing off all of the cobwebs, pulling things down. Sitting around Memories coming from my head Oh, the nostalgia When I recall the moments we had